intro, Lolo, intro. So I've been thinking a lot about songs that get stuck in your head. Why do they get stuck in your head? I mean, what is that even? And it's the most annoying thing, right? Even if it's a song you like, you're like, okay, enough is enough. So I did a little research on it. Uh, and by a little, I mean really little, like minimum effort research. I looked up like one website and read an article. So I'm no expert in this. You know, if you know more about this or you know about a video that better explains it, just tell me about it in the comments or make a video response. You know, I don't really care. I love to be proven wrong. So when you've got a song stuck in your head, it's called an earworm. Yeah, how awesome is that, right? An earworm. It's like, what, did a little creature crawl inside my ear and, like, is nesting in my brain, singing this song at the top of its lungs just to drive me mad? No. So what's happening when you've got a song stuck in your head? Your auditory cortex in your brain, no idea where that is, it's in your head somewhere, it fires off, and basically, it's listening to the lyrics, it, even when the song stops playing, your auditory cortex is still firing off, but it's singing the song, basically. So that's why it's stuck in your head, because your auditory cortex just won't let it go. People have a lot of hypotheses about uh, why this happens. It could be just when you're trying to suppress a thought, you just end up thinking about it more. The more you try not to think about it, the more you think about it, because you're thinking about not thinking about it, so you're thinking about it, which just makes it even worse, right? So it could be just that. Or it could be your brain just being idle and wanting something to do. Like, have you, if you have a dog, have you ever seen your dog just sitting there chewing on its leg or whatever? It's doing that because it's bored. It doesn't really like chewing on its leg, but it's something to do. So it's just sitting there chewing on its leg because it's bored, and that's kind of what your brain is doing when it's got a song stuck in it. It can be called a lot of different things. Um, some people have called it repetunitis or melody mania. Really creative stuff. And there are a lot of different things you can do to try and get this song out of your head. You could um, sing a different song or um, play a different instrument if it's like an instrumental thing you kind of got stuck in your head. Mm. You could just get busy. Like right now, I am making a vlog. Um, you could go for a walk, ride your bike, hang out with a friend, jump on your trampoline, anything that'll keep your mind off it. Read a book. That, that usually helps. That puts a lot of words in your head that isn't song lyrics. That was really bad English. You could try and sing the song all the way through. Now this doesn't always help because, um, like, if you don't know all the lyrics to the song, if you just heard it on the radio today for the first time and you got the chorus stuck in your head, singing the song all the way through won't really help because you don't know the whole song. It's apparently one strategy to getting a song not stuck in your head anymore is to picture the song as an actual worm that has actually crawled inside your ear, gone up into your brain, screaming the song in your head, and you picture that worm, and you take it, and you crush it. It's actually pretty satisfying. If you want to read more about this subject, I put a link to the article that I read below. I think it's technically called a description box. What do you think should be the name of the, the thing? Leave a comment telling me, because I'd be interested to hear your thoughts on it. Well, those are my thoughts on earworms. Gosh, I love saying that. Earworm. And if you do have a song stuck in your head, it's not going to be there forever, so don't freak out. Just let it run its course, and you'll be fine. Well, that was my first vlog. I know it's not the best. I'm going to keep working on it. Um, hopefully, I'm going to get into a regular schedule of posting these things. If you liked what you saw, subscribe. Like this video. Um, tell your friends about it. Whatever. Okay, thanks. Bye.